Hey, how you doing folks? This is Hellbent, and today I'm going to release a little game that I created using Auto Hotkey. Um, the game is Flappy Bird. I created it about a month ago. Um, the main purpose for me creating this wasn't really because I wanted to um, play Flappy Bird or anything like that, but uh, because I wanted to play around with some new, some new graphics ideas. So, um, let me show you the game real quick, and then I'll show you where you can get a copy of it if you want to check it out. But anyways, here's the game. Um, before I continue, I should point out that this is only available for Windows 8 or higher, so currently that's Windows 8 and 10. If you have Windows 7 or lower, uh, it's not going to work. In fact, it'll probably error out on you. So, for Windows 8 or higher, so here's the main window. I can go check out my high scores go back and I have up to three player models that I can select between. So I'm going to select this guy and start the game. To play the game it's very simple. I just have to click on the screen and just keep tapping to fly. So just tap, tap, tap and see how high I can go. Alright so that is it. Let me lose and I'll reload. Alright, so um, a few quick things that I'll point out, if you don't, um, currently it has just some beep sound, so if you lose it'll play a couple of beeps, and if you, every time you score uh, a number that's divisible by 5, it'll give a little beep. So if I, if I have a score of 4, I get no beep, but if I hit 5, it'll beep once. If I don't want those beeps, I can just come into the script and change that to a 0, and then there's no sounds. Uh, now for where you can get a copy, I'll leave a link in the description to this uh, forum post where I posted this up. Um, you will need to have a copy of the GDIP uh, library or the GDI Plus library on your computer. Um, you'll just replace this line, if I go back to here, you'll just replace this with the path to wherever you have your GDIP library. Um, if you're not sure of where to get a copy of it, I've left a link to the forum topic where you can get a copy of the GDIP library. And uh, other than that, I think that's it. I uh, just posted a couple of images, and that's it. Um, maybe later on today I'll release, do a video on the, the layered window class that I created. And this is just a, I used this game as a way of, for me to get used to using the layered window class but maybe later on today or tomorrow or something I'll do a video on how to use the layered window class so you can start using it in your own scripts but anyways that is it hopefully you enjoy and I'll see you guys on the next one peace